new role, uh, expanded responsibilities, it sounds like. Um, how are you kind of approaching what's happening here now? Uh, really, you know, honestly, just the exact same that I've been doing the last three years. Um, you know, it's going to be similar type of role, obviously, just a little bit expanded, you know, with Kevin and, and Wes. Those guys did, you know, such a great job and just kind of filling those roles. But similar responsibility, but, you know, truly being, you know, the quarterback coach and running the daily meetings. And, um, you know, I've been able to be in meetings with Shane Waldron when he was a quarterback coach and then seeing Kevin over the last, you know, handful of years. Uh, learning from those guys. Obviously, Sean's so heavily involved with the quarterback as well. But um, yeah, it's just it's it's more of the same. It's still you know taking it a day at a time. But um, obviously, you know the opportunity that Sean's given me to to truly run you know the quarterback room is uh, is awesome. It's everything that you know guys when you get into coaching you want to be able to, you know kind of have that responsibility. So I'm definitely you know looking forward to it. And is there anything you know you that maybe you think you you bring specifically? Uh, to that job, to the room, to the job that, uh, not that your predecessors didn't have, but just something that's unique to you that, uh, you know, you can add to that? Um, you know, really just looking to carry on and, and build what, you know, we built on last year with Matthew and, and you know, Kevin's such a great coach. I learned a ton from Kevin and uh, one of my, you know, great friends uh, as well. And so just continue to build on, on what, you know, obviously Matthew coming into his second year and, you know, how much better can we be going into year two, but uh, really it's just kind of continuing what's already been uh, established over the last couple of years and just uh, keep building on that. Thanks very much. Yep. Jordan. Hey Zach, nice to see you. Congratulations. Thank you, Jordan. Appreciate it. Um, of course, now you have to talk to us. So I guess maybe not a congratulations after all, but it's a double edged sword here. But <laughs> you guys are harmless. Um, in, in terms of um, where this offense went last year, um, we talked earlier with Liam about some of the drop back concepts that were especially implemented and the way you guys spread the, the offense out and spread the route concepts out as well. Where now is there still for it to go? I mean, are, are there things that you guys didn't quite turn the stone over on last year, maybe due to time constraints or personnel? And where can you guys continue to push this thing? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, you know, once we got Matthew and obviously knowing his ability to see the field and progress and uh, you guys see him manipulate underneath defenders and, you know, the no look in the Super Bowl at that time is, one of his elite traits. And so the ability to spread the field, let this let this guy see it uh, and, and find the open guy, we're gonna continue to build on that. Um, and there was progression throughout the season, really. We started with a few things during training camp that were a little bit newer that showed up uh, big time during the season. And then as anything, it just keeps building through the season. So I think it's, it's finding that balance between just getting good and, and perfecting the stuff that we were doing last year and, and building off of those concepts. Uh, and then, you know, studying around the league and seeing if there's different concepts that teams are doing that uh, might implement, you know, for us. But um, I think first and foremost, it's, it's the execution of the stuff that we've been doing. But like you're saying, uh, you know, kind of expanding on, you know, some, you know, you guys know we're, you know, condensed a lot of the time, but spreading the field a little bit uh, and let Matthew kind of uh, see things clearly and, and go from there, I think is definitely something we're going to get into. And then um, Ash, I asked Sean about this at the league meetings a couple of weeks ago too, because I mean, it, is it just confined to you guys exploring around the league for new ideas? I mean, obviously you want to know, you know, how teams will play you, but in terms of finding what's next um, with a quarterback who can probably execute it considering his, his body of work. Do you guys kind of go down into seeing what's happening and trickling up in the collegiate ranks or, or how does that work with you guys? Yeah, I think anytime you're watching the college game and, you know, we've been, you know, scouting these guys now and, and there might be a concept that pops up and you're saying, Hey, this actually, you know, can fit for us. But um, I know personally ideas can be sparked just from watching our own tape and, you know, plays that come off of plays. And, you know, obviously one of the main things is here is, um, you know, the, the marriage of the run in the pass and, and plays that start out looking the same, 
that end up different. And that, that comes just from watching our own tape. And there's ideas that get sparked, you know, every day as we're going back and reviewing the season and say, you know, what if we tweaked this and made this just a little bit better by putting this route on the backside. So um, all that stuff, you know, there is a trickle down effect or trickle up effect, like you're saying in college, anything that can fit, but um, you know, a lot of the things I think end up coming from your own tape and just building off of your own concepts. Thank you. Yep. Maria. Hey, Zach, I'm just curious, having the opportunity as a coach to move around and coach different positions, what are your thoughts of the importance on having those opportunities? I think it's huge, Maria. Um, you know, obviously started off here working with the quarterbacks and it was my first year coaching. So I was, you know, learning a lot of stuff, taking a lot of stuff in stride. And then that second year, um, you know, Sean came to me, wanted me to work with the wide outside year. And, and looking back on it, it was my favorite year, really, that I've been here. Obviously, we won the Super Bowl, so I can't say that. Uh, but just in terms of being around a different group, I've always been a quarterback, you know, my whole life and always been around that position. But then getting that different perspective and seeing those guys in the run game, the route detail that uh, that it takes to, you know, execute, snap in and snap out. That that stuff was was so valuable. Obviously, the room with Robert Woods and Cooper Cup and, uh, you know, Van was a new guy coming in. So that that room uh, was a special group of guys. But uh, there's so much value in getting to a different position, seeing that perspective, because, of course, as a quarterback, you see, you know, the wideouts, we want them in the right spot at this time, but knowing uh, what it takes to do that. And then also understanding these guys can't just run all day. We, as quarterbacks, we're not running a ton. We're, we're back there. And uh, so having the appreciation for uh, just how much those guys are working. And then obviously you guys see every single week, the, the run game stuff and uh, the detail that they have there. Um, but that overall experience was huge just to grow as a coach and seeing a different perspective. Thank you. Yep. Claudia. Hey, Zach. Uh, this is Claudia with the DLP show. So I, I don't know if we ever met before. So I'm just saying hi. Yeah, good to see you. Um, so, so how how challenging this gets as year goes by? And is there anything in this department you feel needs improvement? Sorry, say that again, Claudia. Is there anything in this department you feel needs improvement? improvement can you hear me yeah I think I think um you know first and foremost it's you know take taking care of the football a little bit better you know that's that's what we're definitely gonna um you know emphasize and and in the play with the ball in our possession I think if we can cut down those a little bit we'll you know be a better offense and be more efficient overall but um it's just continue to grow and and you know knowing that we have a lot of guys coming back and uh but watching our tape from last year and, and doing our self-scout you know, this off season, there's so many little things that, that, that can be improved on that, um, you know, we're going to emphasize with these guys when they get back. And, um, you know, we've got such a great group of guys, um, you know, top to bottom, O-line, receivers, tight ends, running backs, all these guys love the game. They love ball and they want to all improve and they all want to be better players. So uh, I think there's always going to be those little nuanced things that, that guys want to improve on. And, uh, we'll definitely be emphasizing that, but just overall, just, um, you know, taking care of the football just a little bit better. Thank you, Seth. Yeah. Right, we'll wrap up with Jordan and Greg. Hey, Zach, thanks for the quick follow-up. Um, just curious, um, we had seen before, it was a huge point of pride for um, Kevin O'Connell to be really hands-on with the quarterbacks in terms of like the drilling and the development. And like, he just kind of just seemed like he really loved running around out there and, and really getting into those drills with those guys. Um, and, and that sort of leads me to wonder who takes over the development of, uh, you know, Bryce Perkins and um, how far has he come and, and where could he still go in your mind? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm so fired up about Bryce. I mean, seeing, the first year he came in, I was with the wideouts and, you know, Liam and Kevin did such a great job with him his first year. And then seeing him just go all in and, and he works tirelessly at his game. He's, 
you know, he's got a great process. He's obviously has all the intangibles that you're looking for, but uh, I'll be heavily involved um, working with Bryce still. I know that, you know, um, as the assistant last year, I got to, you know, have a lot of time with Bryce, uh, which was great. But uh, we have KJ Black here who's, who's coming from Florida A&M, who's been a great coach for, for a long time and, and played the position as well. So KJ is definitely going to be helping out with, you know, the young guys. And if we end up adding a guy for camp, um, you know, KJ will be heavily involved with that. But um, I'd certainly want to, you know, keep the hands on with Bryce and, and continue to see him grow. This will be a, a big spring for, for Bryce and really a big camp. Um, you know, obviously last year he came in. Once, once you get past that first year and you kind of have an understanding of the offense, you're going to naturally get better. But um, I'm excited to see him come back after an offseason of work uh, and see where he's at because he continues to get better throwing the football. Um, he's always been a great decision maker back to his days of Virginia. Um, and obviously you guys saw last preseason what he can do with his legs uh, to break down a defense is, is pretty good. So um, seeing his development as a passer and, and just seeing where he's at, I'm, I'm fired up to see him. But, um, you know, long story short, KJ Black will definitely be, uh, you know, very involved with, with Bryce's development. Thanks, Zach. Hey, Zach, Greg Beecham with the AP. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, you're, you're tied with Liam. We know that. Uh, what is he going to bring to this team that, uh, that that's different from last year? And uh, and how does how is he different from Kevin? What stands out to you about him as a coach? Yeah, Liam, you know, first of all, is one of my great buddies. You know, we've been close uh, from that first year we were here. Um, I mean, we're texting all the time, talking ball. I mean, he, he loves it. He's all in. Um, as far as just the difference, I'm, I'm not real sure, sure just yet. You know, he's um, he, he's got a great perspective of the game. Him and I have always seen the game very similarly. And so I know that, you know, comrade camaraderie is uh, already built there. But um, I think Liam's going to do a great job just continuing to build and bring different ideas. I know, uh, you know, we, we were heavily involved with some third down game planning, uh, you know, two years ago when Liam when Liam was here and um, you know, I know he's always got fresh ideas when you're buzzing the tape. Hey, this is this is what I'm seeing. Hey, this is what I'm seeing. And so being able to go back and forth, our offices are right next to each other. He's in there entirely too much. I need to tell him to, to get out of here every once in a while. But um, but no, he's he's always has fresh ideas. And I think the biggest thing is just kind of that week to week game planning. Um, you know, once we kind of see, OK, here's what the defensive structure is looking like. Here's what they're doing on third downs. Um, how can we attack these guys? I think that's definitely one of Liam's, you know, strongest assets. And uh, he's a great leader. He's got command of the room. Um, guys like him. He's just an overall, you know, likable guy from from the Northeast with that accent going. So uh, I'm fired up that he's back, you know, not only just as one of my good buddies, but uh, to work closely with. He was telling us you paid, he played he paid pretty close attention to the Rams while he was gone. You know, he cut up the film every week to show his team because the concepts they were doing were what he, were what he was trying to do. Did you stay in touch with him on a weekly basis and talk about football, or are you just talk about friend stuff? We we would talk we would talk all the time during the season and and shoot we you know Sean and I would talk about what Liam was doing at Kentucky. Hey man, did you see you know they ran this and uh, so they, they he did a great job there. There was no surprise when Liam went to Kentucky. It was obviously a, a, a big time job in the SEC, but nobody was surprised that he was going to do a good job there. And so uh, just as much as he was watching our stuff, Sean and I, and I mean, we were watching anytime we could, could watch their games. Uh, we were checking them out and, you know, he always had some good stuff week to week and playing in a difficult conference uh, like the SEC. But um, yeah, it, overall just fired up to have him back. It'd be, uh, it'd be really good.